Good afternoon. We are extremely pleased that you are here. It is good to come together for the purpose of co-creating. Do you agree? Yes. You knowing what you're wanting it moves about, doesn't it? Fast. It's moving about fast, isn't it? Are you enjoying? This is not a trick question. The contrast of your time and place it matters a lot, doesn't it? So, you know what we talk about here, yeah? How you are so much more than you see in these bodies. You're extensions of source energy. And you came with very powerful intention. You knew that this environment, this time space reality would inspire you to continuing new desires. And you knew that once a desire happened within you, that it would begin to become, you knew that. And you knew that your focus would make all of the difference. You knew that your focus would cause the desire to be born. And you knew that your desire would be the reason that it happens as it happens, as fast as it happens, or as slow as it happens, when it happens. You understood all of that as you made the powerful decision to come into this body. Since you've been here, if you're like most humans, you've sort of forgotten that bargain <laughs> that you made. And you've become observers. In fact, almost everyone you know offers most of their vibrational output in response to what they are observing. Well, that matters a lot because your vibrational output, this energy that you emanate because of what you're thinking about, it is your point of attraction. The law of attraction is responding to that vibration that you're emanating. And so sometimes when you're not living something that you want, you know really clearly what you would prefer and you say the words and you launch the rocket and your inner being who remains non-physically focused focuses on this rocket of desire that you've given birth to. And the law of attraction begins to summon the cooperative components to what you've asked for. But sometimes, in fact, really often, in fact, more often than not, most humans give birth to a desire, but they counter it with their awareness of what is. They continue to focus upon the reason that they want something different, to talk about what they've got rather than what they want, to try to get others to get them to understand how they feel about not having what they want and how they feel about having what they've got. And so, so often you, most everyone hold yourself in vibrational discord with what you want. And that matters because what you are mostly thinking about is what equals your point of attraction. Have you been listening to us for a little while? We'd been talking about this stuff for decades. And as we are offering blocks of thought to Esther, really like a radio signal, she finds equivalent words that sort of explain to you in easier form what it is we know. Often you feel the resonance with that. My self-will manifested so many good things in my life. There was a conversation I heard with you and you described manifesting either from the vortex or from the void. And that hit me. It made sense. My, the first part of my life, I have manifested so many things, lots of money. Um, I was an actor. I was on TV shows and movies and, and I think I was manifesting from the void and even that's okay because now I look back. Certainly. Yeah. Now I look back. And what do you think we meant? We can't imagine what we meant by that. Well, I, I hadn't heard it before with you. Well, here's what we meant. You know what you don't want, which helps you to know what you do want. And so you launch this vibrational awareness of what you prefer. Now it's a vibrational awareness 
and you're not usually very good at staying focused on that because you're still observing what caused you to ask for that but when you launch that into this vibrational reality that we have called many things we've called it your vibrational reality we call it your vortex it's this vibrational thought therefore consciousness that the law of attraction is then responding to but the most important thing to know about that we think is that the part of you that existed before you came into this body that still exists in that whatever heaven is now that you're in this physical body is focused unequivocally with no deviation upon what you have asked for in its pureness the awareness as much as you knew it your inner being is then focused upon that and the law of attraction is responding to that and so the cooperative components are being gathered to that now we wouldn't call that the void we would call that asking and whether you ask deliberately or whether you ask accidentally because you knew you just didn't like that so you did prefer that you've still asked and it still is given someone should write a book <laughs> you still ask and it still is given and so but sometimes when someone wants to know about good and evil which there's only good it's like asking about light and darkness and we say well there's light but there is not a source of darkness no one flips the switch where the inky misty stuff covers up the light it's not like that it's just the pinching off of the light and evil is like that too or darkness is like that too it's the not allowing in this moment of time for the connection to what is the light and so when we say that every thought that has ever been thought still exists and that these thoughts are managed by the law of attraction and they are gathered is maybe the best word they are cooperative components also that are gathered so there are like rivers and streams of thoughts and beliefs and expectations and what humans come to call truth and a lot of that we could comfortably say sort of came out of the void not out of the void of alignment but out of the discontent of human complaining yes. but really it's not fair to ever say that you are not launching into your vortex because you always are some people get so far away from really caring about feeling good that law of attraction supports them in their there's a problem with this and there's a problem with this and there's a problem with this and there's a problem with this until they just are oriented that way and they're not getting sustenance from source when they're feeling like that now they accidentally fall asleep or they get drunk and pass out or they get high on something so they're not focused or they get distracted by something so no one is ever really disconnected that would really be the void and that cannot be that void cannot be cannot be but it isn't fun to live your life not deliberately pointing in the direction of who you really are it's not fun yes it was unsatisfactory to say the least and then I lost it all good and that was amazing yeah. truly let's say that there's this person that you sort of kind of know and let's make this person into a bigger deal than this person is they're really horrible to be around it's hard for you to feel good when you're around them let's say and so you've decided that you don't want anything to do with them and so you launch this rocket of desire you don't want anything to do with them but you haven't let go of them yet so everywhere you go there they are and if it's not them it's somebody just like them doing something just like what they would do we're not pointed in any of you you know that so then you have a choice you can focus upon what you want focus upon your positive aspects you can practice it you can care about feeling good you can contour your thoughts you can find satisfaction here and here and here and here because you want to feel good first and because you understand the value of feeling good next of that collaboration with by will and all that stuff so then they're not always like that because nobody can stick to that kind of negative concentration they saw a bird and they liked it whoops didn't mean to do that <laughs> they saw a love story Oop, felt love Oop, get rid of that get rid of that get rid of that in other words they stopped thinking about their mother and they felt better for a minute <laughs> or that teacher that was in menopause and she hated all those kids so they have a lapse in their focus which the law of attraction may very well bring you 
to either a thought encounter or a physical encounter because they're in your vortex every relationship is eternal and because you know what you don't want you know what you do want you built a whole vortex room in your vortex cave that has to do with them and now you're all tuned in tapped in turned on you're attracting those moments with them and if your opinion of what you were observing from before has now been replaced with your in the moment desire to feel good now they marry very well dovetail with you in a good feeling way so here's what will happen there are a few choices if they're really hard fast in their knowing what they don't want while you have come into alignment with who you are mostly then your relationship goes like this they go off that way you go off that way and you don't think much of them again you don't think very often about them again but if they have softened or if their life has now caused them to ask for more now they may be in a stronger place of asking for someone like you and so you may have these momentary encounters with them where if you've practiced your book of positive aspects and if you really like to feel good you may be able it's a rare human that does it you may be able to not offer a vibrational opinion about what used to be you might be so present right now just like your inner being is present right now you might be looking for their positive aspects right now and finding some and so this relationship may be becoming anew so you either go this way or you come together or you attract others that are like them on both ends of that stick until you get really clear about what you're doing you have to make it about how you feel not about what they're doing and the thing is teachers like you born for that the thing that drives you nuts is that you care you care and because they don't seem to it is a problem for you because then they seem to be the continual source of your dissatisfaction and you got to get to that place where it's not about right or wrong it's about being willing to reach for that forgiveness again and again and again not because they need to be forgiven and not even because they deserve to be forgiving we don't mean that but because you do you deserve to feel like that about anybody that's coming into you so if somebody's coming into your experience they're coming because the law of attraction has brought them there you just got to figure out did they come because of your desire for value why did they come did they come out of the void did they come out of your habit of thinking about things that you don't want to think about or did they come out of your desire to be the uplifter that you were born to be and after a while you start noticing patterns don't you, you start noticing that people are coming the law of attraction is so beautifully precise just so accurate yeah if you like this video don't forget to subscribe and see you in the next